I've always loved poetry because it values a, a tiny, tiny increment of time. You know, you can read a poem in two minutes, one minute. You can have time to reread it, unlike a novel or a bigger, bigger book. Uh, and I loved that even as a child that I could read a poem in just a minute and feel better about the day. And so I think, um, and same with writing, you could spend three minutes writing, five minutes writing, just something you heard, something Krista Tippett said, something David White said, and then just riff on that for a few minutes for yourself and feel completely better about language, about silence, about your own mood. Uh, so that's a gift poetry gives. Uh, of valuing for a tiny increment of time and the spaciousness around a poem. I think Patrick was just talking about yes. the empty space around a poem. Yes. Um, and coming to a place, an experience like this, is also like a poem in that way, that you will carry it, you will carry certain scenes and images with you as you do with a poem. Um, and I think in our current world where many of us feel just overwhelmed by the muchness of every day, what we're hearing, what we're learning, what we're supposed to put into some kind of synthesis with our best selves, a phrase Krista uses often, which I love. Um, we need the poem. We need the minute. We need the respect for the minute um, more than ever. So many people deny themselves a moment with poetry because they think, or a moment with their own empty page in a notebook because, oh, they don't have an hour, they have to be somewhere. And I always say, that's okay if you don't have an hour. If you have three minutes, use it, you know, take it. And think about the quietude in that three minutes and where you could go. What's uppermost in your thoughts? What do you care about at this moment? What phrase, what line? Um, poetry gives us the respect for that. <laughs>